Dr. Kim Anderson, our crop marketing specialist, joins us now. Kim, growers are harvesting their summer crops. They're starting to plant fall wheat. What kind of decision-making process do you recommend as they try to decide what crops to actually plant? Well, right now, many producers are putting the pencil to determine which crop to plant over the next year or maybe over the next five years. And the one piece of information they've got to have is the price over the next five years. Now, I've made those estimates, and if you look at wheat, it's about $4.75, corn, $3.60, grain sorghum, $3.35, cotton, $0.65, Soybeans, $8.60, and sesame, $0.35. Cents. How did you come up with these projections? Well, I used uh, the University of Missouri, the Food, and the Food and Agriculture Products Research Institute, and the USDA's estimates. So I had two estimates of these prices over the next five years. I averaged them out to come up with a single estimate, and then I looked at uh, how Oklahoma prices compared to them. Uh, you look at uh, wheat, I used uh, an even price because the average Oklahoma June July price compared to the average U.S. price in that time period is equal. On uh, corn, the Oklahoma price is about 18 cents above the average U.S. price. Sorghum price is 25 cents below corn. Soybean prices are about 22 cents in Oklahoma below the U.S. average price. On um, cotton, I used the ICE futures price out in the and it comes in about three cents less than that futures contract price. And canola is a contract price that you can contract for production in future years. Which crop then shows the highest odds for producing a profit? Trent Malachek at Enid, he's our area economist, uh, built a budget for each one of these crop enterprises and they all come in pretty tight because prices are relatively low. So what he says is, depends on your machinery complement and your management abilities and your soil conditions and where you're located in the state. And so what that means is that each producer needs for each farm budget out each of these alternatives and determine what the odds are that he's going to get a profit on each one and choose the best one. Great analysis, Kim. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week.